everyone. I'm just going to wait a few moments and get a few people on here. Um, I am at the property with the crazy neighbors. Um, and I've had a call from my attorney today. Um, who is also not my attorney any longer. Um, but um, I have been informed that if I do not allow my neighbors to have complete access to my driveway and backyard, um, I will be going to jail for 10 days. Um, even though this is my property... I don't understand why I need to allow the neighbors to rut up my backyard so that I'm unable to mow it easily. I don't know anyone else in the United States that has to allow access to their backyard for the neighbors to drive over and um, do whatever else they want. I'm the only one in this town that I know of, and I have been told that if I do not allow this access, I will go to jail for 10 days. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to kind of walk around the property. I just had another survey this past Monday, the second survey, showing my property lines, legal surveys done by a um, very notable company um, out of Union City that has been in business for many, many, many decades. Um, the neighbors have basically built a, a um, illegal addition to their home up to the very property line, about 54 inches from the property line. And so they want access to my driveway and my backyard um, for their use because they've used up their property. They're using the pretense that they need my backyard to get into their backyard. Um, we do have an alley that runs behind us, and so we are actually both able to access our backyards from the alley. So there's no reason that either one of us would need to access the other's backyard to have um, access to the backyards. So I'm just going to start walking around, show you the, the survey that was done. And if any of you have any input, um, this has been an ongoing situation for four years. It's ridiculous. Um, these people have been allowed to um, threaten me with guns of shooting me. They verbally assaulted me. They have attacked me. They have uh, verbally assaulted my grandchildren. And nothing is done about that. But the judge is ordering me to be arrested for a tarp that I had to put up because they called EPA on me um, whenever I pressure washed the garage and painted it. And um, so EPA ordered me to put this tarp up to keep, keep any chips from going to their side. I done this and EPA is, is the law as well. Now the judge is ordering me arrested. So I'm going to just turn this for a minute and show you the pens and the property if I can figure out how to. Well, I may have to turn my phone. But here is one of my pens from the survey. And then we just kind of walk up this way.
This will be my next pan. And this is the garage that I pressure washed and painted. I haven't completed it yet. The um, EPA man said I had to leave the tarp up until I had completed the, um, the project. Um, I have not completed that project yet because it got cold on me. And just to be honest, I'm, I'm avoiding the property because these people are crazy. I don't know what they're going to do. He's a courthouse, a Fulton County Courthouse sh Sheriff Security Guard. Um, he is being privileged. He's only a tenant. Um, we are property owners, and we have absolutely no rights, um, according to the DA, the police, the judge. Um, they've basically taken all of our rights. We have none. Um, our other marker is, is back here in these trees, and I'm not going to go back there. Um, he's, he's always talking about these so-called snakes. This is part of the, the, the lot. He mows this portion over here, but he doesn't mow this, but he wants to come over into my yard and mow. And I don't want him on my property because he's, they've threatened to shoot me and everything else. They've set out with their guns and, um, told me how they're going to shoot me. I've got six bullets. It's not going to take but one. I have video on here of talking with the police, cop cam, of him speaking with the police, saying that he's been talking with the judge, and the judge says that um, there is to be no police come to my address unless there is blood. Um, and the, the, um, ex chief of police said that, um, he would suspend any officer that came to my address unless there was blood. This, this is the old marker. After the judge's ruling, this is the new marker. So this is my property line as of now. And as you can see, their property is used up down there. This is their pool with their half-assed fence around it that they had to put up, that they just had to put up. That pool's been uncovered for years. Wonder somebody hadn't drowned in it. Nothing on this property is, is up to code. But this is my line. These are the new new flags that were put out by the surveyor. And this is the tarp that I, I put up. It's weathered because it went through the winter. And I have not replaced it because I didn't know if I was going to be able to get to put up a fence. Which is what I was hoping for. But as you see, their property is used up. They've got just a few feet. And this is why they want my property. Because they've used their property up. And I'd actually started taking the tarp down because we were measuring and stuff. And I was hoping to get to put up a fence. But this is the illegal room addition. This was built with no permits, no inspections. It's sitting on tiers with no foundation. That's just basically vinyl siding down there that goes on the side of a house. And um, it's not tied down. It's not secured. The electric was not inspected. The steps go out into the driveway which is supposed to be a contempt of court. 
but as you see, they built this, because they built this room, this is a natural waterway where the water flows off because the properties um, slant downward. And the water ran down this trail. They built this wall here so the water cannot run any longer, so it pools right here. Then they built this fence up here and didn't put a gap so that the water could run through. So now it actually creates a big swimming pool out to here. And so now they have all this mud on the driveway because they've blocked the natural water flow. And so here is my pen, and they're actually about 54 inches from the property line with this illegal build. Before the court's order to split the alley, they were actually only 28 inches from the property line. And as you can see, my pen right there the property line is only about this far, my foot to their step. So that's about six inches, six to eight inches from the bottom step. So when they step off their property, they step onto my property because they've built this illegal addition. Here is my property pins. And this is for the back portion, and it actually goes up 32 inches on this front 75 foot. And so as you can see, this is my back door, and this is their back door. We're not but 15 to 18 inches, I mean foot, apart of our back doors. And when we come, they sit out on this back step and they harass us. They, t they call us names. You want me to? Yes, because I don't know how to turn it, so I've been walking around with it backwards. Go ahead. Um, it's um, you want me to flip the camera? Is that what you want me to do? Or just talk? You want me to talk? Have I been recording anything? Well, or have I been recording me? This, this is live. You're live. Right. On but TikTok. I I think I've been recording me and didn't show them what I was talking about. No, no, no. You were using the front of the camera. You were acting like the camera was on the front. Oh, okay. You were. Okay. But I'll switch it now. That way they can actually see and not see my face. Right. Yes. Oh, turn. Did you turn me off? Yeah, you're back to having 140 people. Um, enhance. Is that where it is? It is. Okay, are we turned? Yes. Okay, sorry about that. Minor glitch, technical difficulty. But we're here at the property that I've been having so much trouble with, where the, um, the gentleman, the black gentleman, was handcuffed a few weeks ago um, when he came to purchase the property. And... Um, these neighbors here are atrocious. The judge has ordered me to take my tarp down that the EPA ordered me to put up. Um, so both are law. So who do I who do I listen to? The judge says they're going to send me to jail for ten days if I don't take down the tarp and allow my neighbors full access and all their hoodlum friends full access to my property. And my garage is basically right there. So they can do whatever they want to, take whatever they want to, steal whatever they want to. They can do whatever they want to. And there's, they have people up and down this alley all times of day or night. They sit on this doorstep when we're here and threaten me with guns, threaten to shoot. They sit out and monitor me. Sexually harass her monitor me wherever I go on the property. If I'm at the front working, they if I'm at the back working, they come and, and sit at the back and monitor me. They call me all kinds of atrocious, horrid, ugly names. Um, the C word, B words, fat asses, um, just anything they can think of to say about me or my family whom they don't even know is what they say. 
and they want complete access to my property because they built this illegal addition before the judges split of the alley, which I went before the council and asked that they abandoned because it was my alley. Um, I lost my train of thought, sorry. That's all right. But anyway, um, the judge ordered the alley split. So now the split has been made. They actually got two and a half foot of my five foot of alley. So they wound up with, for the first 75 foot, for the first 75 foot, they wound up with seven and a half foot of the alley. I got two and a half foot. And I have to give them access to not only my two and a half foot, but also another two and a half foot of my property that I actually purchased. So they're getting access to not only two and a half foot of what should have been my property they got ownership of, they're also getting access to another five foot of my personal property to pull in and drive park like that, like they're in a store parking lot because they're too lazy to pull in behind each other like the rest of us in the world does. Right. And the judge has ordered not only the driveway. In the court order, the judge ordered the driveway to be left unblocked. They keep me blocked from it all the time. But now, after the fact, the judge is coming and saying, my backyard portion which is ground, it's, it's grass, it's, it's yard. I also have to allow them access to my backyard to drive across and rut up when there's an alley behind us that we both have access to our backyards. Why should I be punished and have to allow the use of my personal property because they chose to block their personal property with all this illegal building? and fencing and garages right why can't i build up to my property line they've built up to their property line why why can't i build up to my property line sorry amy that i don't have i'm trying to let her her talk um but yes if you go to her videos uh you'll see the whole story it's a lot to explain all at one time um but if you go to her videos you can see where um the potential buyer she had was severely harassed by seven police officers and, um, uh, handcuffed. Yeah. And the police officers then t proceeded to scream and yell at my mom for no reason that's apparent to me. Um, so you might get, you might get something from watching those videos that might help you to understand the situation a little better. And, um, so these pe these people are just atrocious. Um, I went. This has been going on for four years. The first three and a half years, I sat back and didn't say anything. I let them call me the names, bully me. I worked on the house. Let them them just do whatever they wanted to to me, and I didn't say anything back. But whenever the police came to me and said the DA has said. We're not to arrest them or cite them for anything. And then I go to the DA and the DA says, oh, no, I didn't say that. But then when we get into chancery court, the judge says, oh, I don't want to hear what they're doing. That needs to go to general sessions. Then when we get to general sessions, the judge there says, oh, no, that's about property line dispute you got to take that to chancery. So neither judge wants to hear what these people are doing. But they're hell-bent on sending me to jail for the only thing they can find, which is that part that the, the EPA told me to put up, ordered me to put up, and they are the law as well. And it was put up because they called EPA on me. Um, I'm in the, I did not take it down after the winter because I was hoping to be able to put a fence up. That's why it's still there. It's went through the winter. I pulled some down because my surveyors was, was doing a survey on Monday. 
but the judge has said if I don't take it all down and allow them complete free access, and not only them, I guess all of their company, I have to allow free access to my property anytime they want, to my driveway, to my backyard. I don't know anybody in the world that cannot fence their backyard and has to allow their neighbors in and out of their backyard. There are fences all over town, all over the United States that run between two properties. And each neighbor does not have access to the other's property to go into their backyard. Right, and They this- either have to come in through an alley or they come in through where they do have room. You don't have access to each other's backyards just because. Right. So I don't understand why that I'm ordered to do this, except for the fact, since this all began, these people, he is a courthouse security guard. He's being privileged. He is friends with the mayor of South Fulton. The mayor of South Fulton came here and disregarded a legal survey that I had done, survey pins in place, disregarded that, and looked at an aerial map that the neighbor had and seized my property up to the wall of my house and said it now belonged to my neighbor, which put him through my garage. My neighbor was told he now owned half of my garage and any any of my personal possessions in it on that side. They put no trespassing signs on my property. And when I pulled one, I was assaulted by the police officer. I was grabbed, I was held, and I was threatened to be taken to jail for pulling that trespassing sign up and throwing it to his side of his property. This was done on my property. My personal private property, I was assaulted by the police officer for removing the sign that the mayor and my neighbor had illegally trespassed on my property, illegally seized my property, and put no trespassing signs on it. The mayor also ordered the South Fulton Police Department that if I or anyone associated with me went on my property, we were to be arrested and incarcerated. And this is even though a court order had been put in place at the time that this driveway was to be freely used for ingress and egress by both of us. I was not blocking them. I was not stopping them from using the property, from from using the driveway or anything. But the mayor ordered me and my family, if we used our driveway, that we were to be arrested going against the court order that was in place. Four days, I did not have access of my driveway or my property up to the wall of my house, half of my garage, and all the way back to the end of my property, which is a 210-foot a, a length. I did not have access to my property for four days because the mayor illegally seized my property. He went above his authority and illegally seized my property and called himself giving it to my neighbor. So for for, uh, prevention of legal, uh, of the legal, uh, of being victimized by the police, you, could, you didn't feel like you could go back on your property because... Um, it wasn't that I didn't feel. I was threatened by the police department. If I stepped foot, this is their words, if I stepped foot on my property, which is now his, I would be arrested and incarcerated. If anyone associated with me stepped foot on my property, they would be incarcerated they would be arrested and incarcerated. That's what I, yeah, that's what, yes. I, I wasn't able to get the words out very right. well, but that's what I was trying so, to say. So it wasn't a choice. We are in um, South, Fulton, South Fulton, Tennessee. Tennessee. And 
These people are only tenants. They don't even own. Our family owns this house. But they have all the rights, and they have rights to our property. And no one else in town has these type of rights. No one else in town is able to use their neighbor's driveway to, to get to their driveway when they have a perfectly good driveway. It's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard of. So now I sit here today facing 10 days of jail because I don't want the neighbors using my property after they've threatened to shoot me. They've assault, verbally assaulted me on several occasions. They keep me blocked from in my driveway. I have to park on the other side of the house. I'm working on the house last summer. We parked on the other side of the house the whole summer. Anytime I use the garage for materials for because it's convenient and we have other properties in town. I use it to store materials. We would have we're a hundred and something foot back to the garage from the street. We would have to come back here and carry the wood on our shoulders a hundred and something feet to the to the street to load or to unload anything because we don't have access to my driveway. But the neighbors have access. They have a pool back here. She is being relentless. Uh, she is. She has done everything in her power uh, fighting point, against this. To the point that I'm, I'm going to jail. To the point where they're trying to arrest her for having a tarp up on her own property. Right. And and they're trying to arrest me because this man is a courthouse security guard. The blue are going to protect the blue. The DA is going to protect the police. The judges are going to protect the, the, the DA. She worked so hard and got above a million views and got attention of the local news only for them to put it on and then immediately take it off uh, because of the same influences that we're talking to you about. Yes. And, and the influences are, I had a gentleman that wanted, wanted to look at the house for possible purchase. He's in Omaha, Nebraska. His his um, link is attached to my pages, so and anybody can go to his his page and watch the whole video, not just the snippet that's on TikTok, but the whole video. Um, it's got his name on it. But irregardless, this gentleman wanted to look at the house for possible purchase because he wants to leave Nebraska. So he came to look at the property, and his job. I'm going to tell you what his job is. His job is an auditor. He goes around and he audits. And I didn't know this when he looked at the property. I found this out after the fact. But when he, he what he audits is prisons, police departments, um, courthouses, public um, facilities like like public libraries. Um, um, Cap, the state capitals, different stuff like that. He 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 goes to government buildings that are owned by the public, and he audits them to see how they're going to treat him, if they're going to violate his civil rights, or if they're going to be nice and not violate his violate his civil rights. Um, and this is what he does. I wasn't aware of it when he came to see my house. Um, I found out about it later, but he got here early. Um, I told him to go ahead and start looking around the house, and I'd be there in a few minutes. I was running a few moments late. Um, by the time I got here, he was in handcuffs. Um, Ellen? Yeah, she's from there. But is that her name? Yeah, Ellen. I see her hideous face on here. Yeah, just, just delete her. Yeah, she's and, going. And they stalk. Yeah, they're stalking me on my, my live right now. But anyways... Um, when he got, when I got here, he was in, in handcuffs. I asked them why he, my buyer was in handcuffs. And that just set off a whole explosion. Um, an officer bellowed at me and everything that I wasn't even speaking to. But anyways, it just turned into this big thing. So then whenever I got over the million views, then Local 6 came in and wanted to do an interview. I gave him an interview. All the information on this man is right there on my TikToks. So. 
at my TikToks, I didn't say anything about it. I assumed they knew. Everybody else in the world does because the link is right there. There were several links. There's been several videos made with the links, but they chose to take it down. Because he's an auditor. Because he's an auditor. There's no other but, reason. So apparently his rights are allowed to be violated uh, right. because of his profession. If you're an auditor, you're not allowed to, to buy a house, I guess, and, and you don't have civil rights. Right. But anyways, um, whenever the police came, um, I guess he turned his cameras on and he did what he normally does at the, at the police departments and the state capitals and, and what all. The police were coming at him. He turned his camera on. For his own protection. Right, for his own protection. And he got video of it. Mm -hmm. And this is what we put on line. It was not tried to, never tried to hide it because we put his links. We put his name. We put who he was. So it, it's a matter of they got busted being racist. Simple as that. They got busted being racist. It was not intentional. We didn't call the police. He didn't call the police. I didn't call the police. He was here looking at the house. He was recording it, sending video to his partner. And this happened. So when it happened, he just turned the camera on them. It is important to mention that um, she can't call the police and get people here to help her. No. If she calls the police, if if she can't say somebody's bleeding, they won't come out here and assist her. But the first time somebody next door called to say that there was a black man on her property, seven police officers showed up and cuffed him. With lights flashing, sirens blaring. And one even made the statement that they drove 120 miles per hour to get here. And the state trooper actually told the gentleman, if you do not have written permission to be on this property, you will be arrested. Which is a bold-faced lie. So, does everybody in the in in the world got to have their visitors got to have written permission to be on the property? Or check with the neighbors first? Or that don't make with no the neighbors, sense. Get the neighbors okay, or do we all call the police department and say, "Hey, so and so is going to visit me today," or is this is this just something for me personally in this town? You know, it, it doesn't make any sense because nobody else has to verify their visitors. And we're not talking about at night in the dark. We're talking about three o'clock in the afternoon, broad daylight on the main street through town. He didn't even come to this side of the property where the driveway is because I had told him about the dispute with the neighbors. He was waiting for me to get here before he looked at this side of the house. Because of the dispute, the neighbors called the police department. We didn't call the police department. Now they're trying to say, oh, you set them up. No, I did not set them up. He did not set them up. He came here to look at a house for sale. He doesn't audit houses. He doesn't audit private property. He was here to purchase a house. These neighbors called on him because he was a black man. They've got all these white men all over my property, all the time, male and female, actually. They did, that, you're right. That I can't do anything about. The neighbors trespass on my property. They can do anything they want. I, can, I cannot get any protection from them threatening me with guns. I can't get any protection from them for stopping me in the driveway, standing in front of my car and cursing me and, and just saying whatever they want to to me. I can't get any protection from them for trespassing. I can't get any protection from them for anything. I can get no protection, period. But they can call because a black man came to this house and looked at it. And now they want to say, oh, you set up the police. No, I didn't set up the police. I never called the police. I even asked, why are you here? I didn't call you. Dr. Red or D. Red, Red style said, tell them someone's coming. Who's coming? Um, this person. is. That's what they're saying, that they've got your back. Um, well, that's, I would love to have that. I, I wish I could get 500 to 1,000 people here to do a protest, to make somebody listen to me. She deserves the support. Because I have done everything I know. 
the the lawyer I had did not have my back, even though I paid him many thousands of dollars. Oh, I saw the video, and you told them you sent home, and they said they didn't know, as if you had to tell them someone was coming. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Nobody else in the world has to get permission to have visitors. Right. But I do. And now they want to call foul because the guy happens to have a job of auditing. Well, she wants to sell, but she is the kind of person who isn't going to knowingly sell a house to someone until she knows that the neighbor problem is dealt with, because these are people who are actively harassing whoever lives in or owns the home. That scared me. Right. Um, <laughs> my, I was sold the house and not informed of this issue. This has been an ongoing issue. Um, the lady that owned this property purchased it in 1985, but she lived here for many years before it was purchased. And um, so I'm not sure exactly how many years she lived here, but these people moved in in 2013. She immediately started having trouble with them. She could not get to her garage to park. Anyways, she moved within a short time. They run her off. And then um, her, her daughter and son-in-law moved in for a short period. They weren't able to stay because of the issues. Um, then I purchased the property and the issues started. So basically, they've run off two other people. This woman had lived here for, for basically 28 years with no problems until these people moved in. Mm -hmm. And then they run her off from her home that she had lived in for 28 years. The home that they lived in prior to this one, the neighbor bought the house and tore it down to get rid of these neighbors. I've never had a house bought and tore down to get rid of me. The house I live in right now, I've lived there for almost 20 years. I've never had a crossword with my neighbor. And the house prior to that, I lived in for 18, 20 years. I never had a problem with my neighbor. I've never had a problem with a neighbor ever until I got this property. And the terror and the horror that I have gone through at this property. I cannot knowingly sell this property to someone else. My conscience won't let me sell this property to someone else and them endure the nightmares that my family and I have endured. Even dogs have been turned loose on my, at the time they were 10 and 11 year old grandchildren. My 11 year old granddaughter was bitten. The judge threw it out of court. I wasn't even informed that there was court. I'm, I'm sitting here waiting for a court date, and then I find out that court has been has already happened, and the judge threw it out. I finally got a trespassing charge on these people. Again, the judge threw it out. The judge don't want to hear anything these people are doing, but they're ready to send me to jail for 10 days for that tarp. That EPA told me I had to put up, that I've not replaced because I was hoping I was going to be able to put up the fence and stop some of this. But again, they're not going to let me put up a fence. They want me to give the neighbors complete access to my property, not just the driveway, but also my backyard for them to do whatever they want to. They have hundreds of people over up and down my driveway. Last year they were shooting firecrackers at my garage, trying to set it on fire. They're just horrid, it's horrid. And and I have to keep dealing with this with, with no repercussions to these people doing this stuff. Right, that's why we're on TikTok. It's, this is kind of like a last stitch effort for us to get um, some support from people because the people in this town are are not the kind to stand. I need, I really need a protest. I need 500 to 1,000 people here to back me up to protest this happening because I've tried all the legal recourse um, and, and um, nothing is working. And I'm just being railroaded. Like I said, I'm on my way to jail for 10 days. And um, I guess I'm going to take that 10 days because... I'm making a stand. I'm, I'm not going to to continue letting these people bully me. I'm not going to continue letting the police bully me. I'm not going to continue letting the DA bully me. And I'm not going to continue letting the judges bully me. Um, I, I guess I'm going to do the 10 days. 
because I, I'm, I'm not going to. I'm, I'm making a stand. But if we can um, make a plan to maybe go live again, and if you guys would be interested in us planning out and setting up a protest, there's only 30 people in here right now, but um, anybody who wants to follow, like, subscribe, um, it would I would get an attorney who isn't from that town. Yeah, uh, that's yeah, just that. been I've incredibly difficult as well. I've even tried to make calls and no one wants to come out to represent in such a small area. The thing is, is the population's just under 3,000 here. Or it, 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 that's the town over. I think this one's even smaller. Yeah, it is. Um, so, it's like a couple thousand people. Here. So it's just a tiny little... And the, the major cities where civil rights lawyers and stuff are, are three and a half, four hours away. You've got Nashville, Jackson, and um, Memphis. Jackson's the closest being an hour and a half away. But I've called every lawyer in those areas. And nobody wants to come to this rinky-dink town. And everybody knows how it is. Um, you just, it, it's hard to do anything here whenever, you know, it, it depends on who you are and who you know. The people in this town have become stagnant because there's no one here supporting them. So uh, she's got to reach outside of the town um, to see if she can get that support from other people who are like-minded and know that what's happening is wrong and she deserves the help she well, needs. the way this town is, is if you try to stand... You're going to be blackballed, and you're going to be retaliated against, just like I am. Mm -hmm. You know, being threatened with the 10 days in jail for this tarp because they're upset about this auditor man coming and, and attempting to buy this house, and then them getting busted violating his civil rights, right? which is not anything, you know, that had anything to do with us. They came. We didn't call them. The neighbors called them. The neighbors should have been minding their business, and and the cops wouldn't have been, wouldn't have came. Right, it would have, none of it would have ever happened. So in the end, it's the neighbors' fault, not ours. We were trying to do a house deal, and they don't know that man. That could have traumatized him. And so you anything know, could have happened. Um, it shouldn't matter what your job is. You should be able to own a house in any neighborhood you want to own a house in, and you should have. Your civil rights, no matter what your job is, you should have your civil rights. You know, because those belong to everybody. Right. So what they're doing is ridiculous. It's against the law. And the funny thing is, the court they had. I'm going to have to give this back to you because it's 135. I gotta... was telephonic. The court was telephonic. I wasn't even involved in the court. Because I'm going to sit on the porch for a little bit. Okay. Um, come on, go down. Ah. Okay, here we go. Flip camera. Okay, so anyway, they had court. They held court on me. I love you, Love you, too. I'll see you soon. Okay. They held court on me, and I wasn't even there. I wasn't aware of it, and I was not informed of it. How can you go to court, or court be held on you, and you're told nothing about it? They just render a decision without you even being aware. But, um, I've had to put these posts up to keep them from running out my yard anymore. This is their garbage. I just cleaned all this up a couple of weeks ago when I mowed. Now all this garbage is back. Why should I have to keep cleaning up their garbage? But anyways, how do you have court for someone and them not even be there? You've ordered 10 days jail for someone and they weren't even there. How is that even legal? I'm not sure it is. But this is what they've done. So, as you can see, here's the ruts. But, you know, it makes no sense. 
that you can go to jail for court for court you know you've not even been to court someone else went to court for you the judge and and the lawyer and just made a ruling without your knowledge and then call you and tell you that this is the court order how is that even legal I'm sure that's got to be a, a, a violation of some kind of of civil rights right there because okay all right see you guys later nice meeting you Carter so this is the craziest thing I've ever seen to own a property and not have access to it and to go to jail because you don't want to share it with your neighbors that have threatened to shoot you and everything else it's it's amazing to me it really is so I guess that's about all I've got to say just wanted to let everybody know and um, I would love to set up some kind of protest um, if anybody is interested please contact me um, you can talk contact me on the messages here or you can send me a a email to P Freeman P F R E E M A N zero 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 one at hotmail.com or PG Knox 2022 at hotmail.com and that's PG K N O X 2022 at hotmail.com but I would love to get some kind of protest set up um, for these civil rights violations um, done to me and the black gentleman that attempted to buy the perch to, to buy the house um, as well as um, my ex-husband who actually owns the property is a 75 or 74 year old um, war veteran which is not helping anything either um, this is all very bad stuff and um, no one should have to go through it and no one should have to deal with it but I'm dealing with it I'm standing against a town um, two police departments three police departments um, and several judges DA's I'm standing alone I've been standing for four years four long years I've been standing against all these people alone and I'm going to keep standing, even if I have to do the 10 days in jail. I'm, I'm going to keep standing. Because that's just the way I am. I'm, I'm not going to let these people continue to bully me um, as they're attempting to do. But thank you.